Hello. Hi, Grandma. It's Nico. Oh, hi, Nico. Did you just call before? I did. I did. Okay. I I took me a little longer to get over to the phone. Okay. No worries. Are you uh Are you free to talk for a bit? Yeah. Uh huh. Oh. Uh. First, the, I want to wish you a happy birthday. Well, thank you for remembering. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, no problem. Do you have any uh, plans uh, today or this week so, to celebrate? No, no, no plans. Just, uh, just uh, moving around slowly here. <laughs> uh, I have um, an eye appointment tomorrow, and uh, that's about it. Oh. Oh no, and uh, and I go and. Uh, I have my foot checked on Thursday. Chuck's gonna take me to that. So, uh, what did you think? Did you finish the book? <clears throat> I did finish the book last night. I I just finished it this morning. Nice. Uh, what did you think of it? Um, I feel like it ended pretty quick, and it was like kind of obvious that um yeah yeah it wasn't like um the actual bones of mary like you could you i feel like you could tell uh it was like too easy uh you know what i mean well do you think the ones at the end were mary oh that's that's a good point too I think that's what they... They tried to make it, like, obscure and just, like, whatever they believe in. Um, yeah, and uh, I, I thought it uh, came to a conclusion kind of fast, you know. Yeah, you know, I, I, I agree. Well, and, then, and it was over. Yeah, it was, it was like a big build-up, and then, like, it was over in, like, two chapters or something like that. Mm. Or That's what it felt like. Uh, and that Nick, I mean, uh, he was, I mean, was he a Superman or whatever? Yeah, that was another thing, too. It, things were just too easy. But I think that's what the author was trying to do. Like, the maidens were very clever and smart for, for so long. So they planned all of this, you know, before okay. it happened and then... Even though he, think, yeah. Do you think the Omega Factor was Mary? Um, the Omega Factor didn't. That's what they called this operation, right? I I guess I'm asking. Yeah, I think. Well, I want, well because Omega is the sign for Mary, right? I guess, yeah. I think that's what they were trying to, um, like, allude to, that Omega, because, um, you know, Christ is, like, well, what is it, the last, the first and the Omega, yeah, whatever. the first the Alpha and the Omega. Alpha, right, 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 Alpha and Omega, and they were uh -huh. saying Mary is, like, the last, um, uh -huh. you know, symbol of Christ on Earth. So she was actually right. the Omega. And they called that operation where they would um, pretend to give the bones the Omega factor. And they thought they were going to have to do that a couple times, but they never had to. That's why they built that new... Um, that new chapel. That new chapel, right. And it was... Another thing with Nick, like, they just let this outsider in, you know? Yeah, I thought, and, and uh, you know, he, he, he was privy to everything, you know. Uh, I, I, I thought, uh, and uh, what did you think? I mean, uh, it was Kel, is Kelsey going to be now uh, the number two person in this uh, Order of the Maidens? Yeah, that seemed, like, too quick as well. Um, from, like, not even knowing this wasn't exist, or this thing existed, to becoming number two and in charge. Like, that's, uh -huh. that's too quick of a turnaround. It's, like, too, too good to be true, kind of. Maybe she could join the order and then, like, 
work work away work away exactly i feel like the other people oh. kind of got slighted yeah i um yeah i uh thought of of, of uh different things um i i think uh a lot a lot of it was like history really yeah did did you read the uh author's note at the very end uh, no, no, I, I, I just, <laughs> I was racing to get to the end of it before you called. Oh, no worries. Well, you could read it afterwards because it is, um, he just talks about what is fact and what is fiction, like what he made up, but, um, Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, so that, that'll be interesting. Yeah, that was pretty helpful, but I remember in our first conversation when I was doing research because I was just curious. Um, like live tours are completely made up. Um, a lot of the stuff we talked about, like the history that I found, was uh, was what was true. In other words, the Cathars were really the Cathars. Cathars are real, yeah. I mean, they go. He goes way more in depth and was way is more accurate than I was. So yeah, you should read it. It was interesting, and like well, all the I will. yeah. I will. All the places um, that are real and that he has like actually visited and is able to you know describe in like detail, uh-huh. he he goes through all that. Um, well, now did he say that the place uh, where uh, it ended, where the book ended, uh, is that a real place? I I don't think it is a real place. Um, there is like a another similar place that is mentions or reference to in the uh the just judges or like in that Ghent altar piece uh-huh. but like it's not real and the, the maidens of saint michael are not real uh-huh. in other words that joan of arc that that she was a maiden and all that yeah that, that, that that's all fictional that's, okay okay um yeah but the uh that passage from john talking about luke's being buried or not Luke being Mary being buried and him living afterwards or her living Uh afterwards that's like true they just don't know where it is it's still like a mystery so he played off of like a bunch of currently unsolved mysteries which I think is really cool that he kind of he kind of like linked them together um, because there is a lot of speculation still yeah, I, I think, uh, you know, Dan Brown, you know, The Da Vinci Code and all that, all mm. those books. I think one of those, he delved into the fact of Mary. And, um, and but I, I think uh, he's, as I, it, it was a few years since I read it, but I think he sort of mentioned that Mary he thought was buried over in uh, England someplace that she went up there you know Mm. after uh, she went from Turkey it really isn't documented exactly where she went you know and uh, right yeah there's still a lot of speculation and I think in the um, the very last part of that writer's note he talks about a potential like house that she like died in or like spent the last days of her life and like the the vatican recognizes it as a holy place but they're not saying like she died because of the whole assumption thing. yeah they want to they want to make her uh resident body up, up to heaven right right and yeah that's such a it was a really interesting um take on like the catholic belief as well where um in christian belief where they needed a woman like a uh, female figure yes yes after after the fact after jesus uh, was gone and the apostles and all they needed a woman to to, to be in there and yeah. uh, so they uh just uh venerated and glorified Mary. Right, when in fact there's like actually no accounts, like real accounts. Um, 
in the Bible, you know, of Mary, besides, like, her being mentioned, there's no, like, she was born from the Immaculate Conception. That was all after the fact when they were trying to push her to, like, being at that level. Um, just, right? So just so that yeah. they could um, get... They're trying to go, like, back on their, like, misogynistic principles of mm-hmm. just, ma- like, a very male-dominated... Um, text uh, uh, and religion, they still wanted to appeal to like a larger crowd, um, uh, especially with the female population. That was my take. Well, now, uh, this uh, Testament of John, yeah. is that real? Yeah, I, I believe it is real. It is It is real. Okay. But it is... But it's, um, but it's, but it's not in the Bible. It's just a manuscript, right? Right. I don't know if it's, like, hidden away. I think you can actually read it, but um, it does talk a little bit about the life of Mary. The writer's note was really probably, like, the best part of the book just because it was, like, a history lesson for me. Yeah, it was. It was really, like, almost history. A lot. Most of it was. I mean, he was writing all about what happened back then. I thought it was interesting the the way uh, those, uh, what were they, merchants or princes in that uh, panel of Ghent, you know, the the altarpiece, how uh, that artist was pointing. Oh, right. To, uh, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he, do- uh, he does talk about that more. There is, like, pointing, but there's not, like, the two people, not two John Van Eyck's or whatever. Uh-huh. There's just one of them, and there is still pointing, like, at the Joan of Arc, and... That, that's interesting that that artist was so clever to do that. Yeah, I mean, I think it makes sense, though, because um, I feel like everything, especially back then, was done with a purpose, because there wasn't a lot of, you know... Um, Inter- there wasn't the internet or, yes, I don't know, social media. So the like way to communicate with masses is through art and architecture. So like everything was done with a purpose. Uh-huh. That that's my thinking. Yeah, it was. Um, uh, oh, oh, I thought uh, some of the things like uh, at the end were. Uh, she pressed uh, uh, something, and then the thing opened up, the cave opened up. I thought, oh, that's kind of far-fetched. Yeah, they were saying that they updated the cave when it, like, you know, when uh-huh. the, when the um, like, with the technology they, of the new world. Yeah. When they, yeah. when they put the electricity in and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. that's a little yeah. far-fetched. Um, but, um, I, well, then uh, Nick went his way and Kelsey went her way. Right. Kelsey uh, went into this uh, order uh, that she was evidently going to be number two person. Yeah, no, that, everything just kind of seemed too easy. And, like, the, the big cardinal got exactly what he wanted. And then, like, uh-huh. there was no real big conflict. Yeah, he got the bones, which really weren't the bones. Right. 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 And, uh, of course, that uh, young guy, that was that uh, Cather, he, of course, got the other fellow and took him over. Yeah. So they both died. Right, yeah, he kind of committed suicide, but... That's like what the Cathars wanted too, right? Like to escape, uh-huh. escape the the real world because they think it's evil. Um, uh-huh. Yeah. And then they just said it would be they'd blame it on like a hiking accident. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah. Blame it on the hikers. Yeah. Yeah. I I honestly don't. I thought the. Uh, that whole Cathar involvement with Bernat and Andre, I thought that would play like a bigger role. It, it was just complete, like two separate timelines. Yes, 
And, you know what I mean? I'm glad, I'm glad you mentioned that. I felt that way, too. I thought, what is this? Well, 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 what's this young kid doing in this, you know? Do you, do you think he was related to um, the guy that was the son of the cardinal? You know, the legitimate kid. Oh, um, he wasn't related. So he was, like, studying under him as in like the cathar religion like he he, like when they killed tallard the uh child molester priest yeah he was actually molested by tallard that priest okay and then after that he became like a perfectus in the catholic or the cathar church which means like you you're like one of the believers but you like work for a long time studying to become a perfectus and then the Bernat, the guy who found the just judges, he like did the ritual to make him become a perfectus. So there he, there was a link. It just seems like uh unneeded, I guess. Yeah, it was it was I felt unnecessary. Yeah. It was two separate storylines, and then, you, you know, the whole time I'm thinking, oh, I, it's going to be interesting how he brings it all together. And uh-huh. it wasn't, he didn't really bring it all together. It was just, this guy is related to this guy. This guy hates this guy. Uh-huh. There was nothing to do with, like, the, uh, the maiden, like, story, or, like, the Virgin uh-huh. Mary's bones. Like, they had nothing to do with it. It was just revenge. What, what did you think about uh, the car chase part? You know, oh. when you described that, when they were getting away with the body. Oh, yeah. Uh, of that. that seemed too easy as, as well. You're right. Like, he is kind of just like a Superman, and just, like, knows exactly he, what to do. Yeah, yeah. And how to do it, and yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that's what I felt. Uh, although, um... Gosh, he must have really thought that thing through to write like that mm-hmm. about the car chase and, you know, he must have envisioned all that down to the minute detail. Yeah, yeah. But then, even when, like, they escaped and then, like, Sister Claire, like, ditched him, you know, like, uh-huh. in the middle of nowhere. And took the body. And took the body. It was like such an easy fix, you know. Even though, yeah, yeah. even though his uh, superiors were like, "What the heck? Like, why did you steal a body in like foreign land? Uh-huh. That's like a big thing." And then his boss st- still was like, "Okay, I'll give you two more days, even though you just broke a bunch of laws." Yeah. And yeah. and I'll get you a helicopter. To fly you to, like, the closest place, plus a car, so that you can finish this out. I'll still give you two days. Like, it was just, like, uh, a cop-out, kind of, I think. Uh Yeah, I I, I thought that at the time. I thought, uh, Ronaldo, uh, you know, he said, I'll still give you two days. Yeah. And then to give him all those uh, those perks like that... uh, you know, a freaking helicopter. Uh, and all that. Yeah. I mean, uh, you know. Wow. Yeah. yeah. But uh, Nick, he, he made a point of saying that this Nick just didn't like to be around guns. Oh, right. That was a whole uh, good, like, new backstory development with the uh-huh. hiking. And it, they brought it up when he was hiking. He's like, I always think about this when I hike. Yeah. But that yeah, that was a good way to say like yeah, I left the gun back at the in the car because I didn't need one or I don't believe in them and this is why. But that was a crazy story too, like the kids going into that cave and then fighting over the gun and then it accidentally going off and killing one of the kids. Like, oh. I can't and imagine they, that. The the kid that did it. By mistake, of course, but the kid that did it 
committed suicide later. Right, with a gun. So then it was just double... Yeah, that's that was a crazy story I never... I did not think was going to, you know... Yeah, I thought I thought that was different too. He, uh, it was a, um, I don't know, a thread that was unnecessary in the whole plot. Right. You know, it was more of like a beat to give a better background to who Nick is and like his his like morals and like why like. Right, I was thinking, oh, just like bring a gun, but then this is why he doesn't make a, bring a gun. Like, he's about to fight. Uh, like, if he brought a gun, it mit- would have made this, like, so much easier. Yeah. So that's yeah. kind of why the the author introduces that, I think, to make it, you know, a little more challenging, even though it was still super easy for him in the end. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, wow. Um, um, but, that yeah, so then, like... He even interacted with Andre, the one Cathar student. How would he know that he's good or bad? You know, like he was he was staking out these priests, which he knew were bad because he ran into them in, in the convent and they like violated the maidens. Uh-huh. Um, so he saw them like going up the trail, and then he saw Andre, you know, lurking behind them. But why, like, it just didn't make sense to me if he's, like, trying to stay hidden and, like, quiet. He just approaches this random guy that he has no idea about and says, like, let's team up. And then even though they teamed up, nothing really happened. It it just, Uh like, it didn't make sense. Uh-huh. I think that was just him trying to force the two stories together, even though in the end, like, he just ran off by himself and went after Villamer, uh-huh. the, the archbishop. So, yeah, there were a lot of weird and weird stories that, not not stories, but storylines that uh, I, I didn't really yeah, different like. Angles. Yeah, it was... It was good and entertaining, but it it wasn't like a perfect like oh everything was wrapped up very nicely. This all made sense because of this, mm-hmm. this, this. Yeah, it wasn't uh, wrapped up as like a, with a bow at the end. Everything tied and went in its place, and so and so lived happily ever after. Blah 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 blah. Right. You know. Right. And I don't really care about the happily ever after. It was just. If you're gonna build like all of these storylines from the beginning, like the Cathar, um, and like the Maiden and Joan of Arc, they were just they never like came together f- for like any reason. So then, like, oh. why? What's the purpose of building one up? I don't know. Oh. Maybe it was just to show like that the Vatican had a lot of enemies. I don't know. Oh. They did, and... Oh, of course. yeah. What? And maybe it was, like, the two 